<laughs> oh my god, it brings back so many memories. It's a, it's a long story. Two years for three seconds, it says a lot. I'm Daniel Bodine. In 2017, I was the first guy to do a double backflip on a snowmobile. Now we're gonna rewatch it, break it down, and take it step by step what I was thinking and what was going on. That's just crazy, <laughs> I can't watch it. It's <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> now we're gonna re-watch the video and break it down and explain to you what happened. Yeah, just coming in. I remember everything was about timing and the speed. That was the hardest part, because I had to calculate everything from a blank paper. So everything was, how high do I need to go to get the airtime to do a double backflip? Okay, I built a ramp that no one ever built before and needs to be this high. I mean, it was a lot of uh, guesses too. When I was practicing doing this trick, we had a big airbag on top. And uh, first I started jumping it straight to get a feeling of it. And just land in the airbag, boom. I'm like, okay. And then now I have to go a little faster, go a little higher. But I speed checked it, I don't even know how many times I did it. When, I, when we worked on the speed, everything was just tries. We didn't, we didn't have anyone to call, there was no book to read, no nothing. We just tried it and tried it. And I came to a point when I was so high that I was above the treetops and I looked down, I think, this should do it. <laughs> to be honest with you, I didn't want to go any higher than I did right there. Yeah, when it was game day, it was so different, just looking at it. When I finally took the corner, going, going towards the ramp, I had so much confidence. You have to. I mean, you're gonna be pretty much 17 meters up in the air doing a double backflip. <laughs> yeah, that's a good frame. But watching this, and see how high I am, I mean, <laughs> that's crazy. That's just unbelievable. I can't believe that. Um, but it's just so many things going through your mind. Cause okay, I felt the speed was right going into a ramp. I went up and you have to pull it. It's, it's a split of a second, second. Too late or too early will, you have a bad rotation. And I felt I had a perfect rotation. Now stay on it. So I did first rotation, but that's the scary part, is after first rotation. Because then you can start to see the landing again, how high you are. And there you need to calculate, okay, should I slow it down or should I speed it up? And that you can do with throttle, brake, or get yourself a little smaller, crawl in more to a ball, or get yourself bigger. What I remember, I think this is the third or fourth attempt. Uh, my first one, we took the airbag away, right? And after first rotation, was looking down and it felt like I was on the moon. So I let, let off the throttle. And then when I started to roll down, falling backwards in the second rotation, I felt, oh my god, that was a big mistake. Hit the throttle again, but it was too late. Under rotated and got the snowmobile over me, tumbled down and I... I mean, the snowmobile weighs 250 kilos, so I was pretty lucky walking, walking away from that. Uh, so that's why the second time, and this, the third time actually, you just have to trust your instinct. You just don't let off, do exactly what you did to your airbag, and you're good. So it was all about trust your instinct. <laughs> oh shit. It's crazy. After when I came around the second rotation, but when I came around like, I actually gonna land this one. I gonna land it. It's just unbelievable. And when I landed it, I landed so hard. I took pretty rough attempts earlier. So my body wasn't in 100%. So I landed hard, 
but also my weight to the left. And that was kind of on one ski, like, come on, come on, come on. And then I landed the right ski, and then it took, it took me a couple of seconds before I understood that. I, I just stood there, and it was just like the clock stopped. And then I can hear and see all my friends just gather, just running at me, and they're like, that has to mean that I, I did it, you know? I did it, I really did it. <laughs> it's just so unbelievable. I don't I don't even know. I cannot even explain. You know, I can see how many people are helping around me. I mean the the group of people here is actually my closest friends. I need people around me that I can trust and there was the right group of people. It was, this was the right way to do it. Now I did it at home in the right environment. And without them, I wouldn't be able to do it. So for all the hard work from a blank paper to this, it's, it's a long story. And still, I, I keep on saying it. I mean, two years for three seconds, it says a lot. Can I just please see it one more time? Because it's been a while since I've seen this. I want to see it. It's just... <laughs>